It's almost time to pack away the iPads, close down the Zoom calls and get back to the classroom. After more than two months navigating the tricky world of home learning, for the McGregor family near Exeter, it can't come soon enough. I'm delighted, not only for parents, but for children. Um, I think children need to be back in school with the contact with their teachers, face-to-face -face contact, um, and the routine. I think they've really missed um, just having a regular daily routine to follow. Homeschooling's been a, a real challenge when you're trying to juggle work with giving them the attention that they need in order to enable them to progress in their education and I'm not a qualified teacher as much as I like to think I can um, give my daughter the support that she needs. Um, it's not the same as having a, having a proper teacher full time focusing on their needs. This infant school in Tavistock has been half full since the start of the year. Staff are busy preparing for the return of all pupils in a fortnight's time. I'm looking forward to seeing all of the children again on the 8th of March. To be all together again is something that we're all looking forward to. With some trepidation, um, we're obviously cautious, cautiously hopeful that that will happen. There are some suggestions that pupils might need to work longer hours or do more homework to make up for lost time, but teachers are warning against this approach. All children will have had very different experiences during lockdown. We need to be really cautious of their mental health, their well-being, and making sure that they're settled and happy in school. And that's how children always learn best. So that's what we'll be focusing on. Unions say returning to school will only be safe if the government prioritises giving the vaccine to teachers and school staff. There are also calls for year groups to return in a staggered system rather than everyone all at once. We and all my colleagues in other schools in Somerset and no doubt in Devon and Cornwall as well will do our very best to do whatever we're asked to do. Personally, I think a staggered approach might be sensible, but like I said, we will make sure that we're doing our very best in whatever the government's asking us to do. Because I think every teacher in every school and all the sports staff would like the children back in place. Swapping the dining table for the classroom will come as a big relief for many, but there is still a lot of hard work ahead. Sam Blackledge, ITV News.